Our officers noticed he was acting a little bit nervous when he arrived into the entry control point. He didn't proceed straight up to a customs officer with his passport. He sort of hung around the back of the hall. He appeared to be stalling. After finally presenting himself to officers, it is established that he is a Malaysian citizen and has flown in from Dubai on a tourist visa. He claims to be here on a short five-day holiday. However, officers suspect that he's not telling them the truth and decide to take him aside for further questioning. We questioned him a little bit further about what his plans were, what he wanted to see, what he wanted to do. He could not really tell us much about Sydney, apart from he just wanted to walk around and have a look. So again, that's um, raised the officer's concerns about him being a genuine traveller to Australia. During the interview, officers perform a baggage inspection, and this causes further concern about his reason for travel. Basically, he's come with no clothing. He's got four and a half kilos of chocolate and alcohol. It is quite unusual for a holiday maker to bring such a large amount of chocolates, considering he doesn't know anybody in Australia, he's got no contacts here, so he's not bringing any gifts for any friends or family that he knows here. What's more worrying is the foul odour wafting from the man's direction. From the moment we spoke to him, we could smell that something wasn't right. It looks like he was a little bit frightened. We've noted that there is a particular smell which is consistent with faecal matter. They start by taking a closer look at the items in his possession. Oh, stink! Quite a strong smell. And the nasty situation becomes increasingly serious for the passenger, as mixed in with his chocolate box are a number of large yellow pellets. Experienced officers recognise these pellets as similar to those used by drug couriers to carry narcotics internally. It looks like the pellets that people usually swallow. Even though they're relatively large, people have been known to swallow 90, up to 90 sometimes. So now that we've got, we know what's in this, we'll close this one up, put it aside, we'll get the other ones out one by one. Further inspection reveals that all four of the chocolate tins contain the same yellow pellets. And it doesn't end there, as officers now open a package that the passenger claims is duty-free alcohol. There is a box of Johnny Walker full of pellets. It's possible that he had them all inside of him solely because of the smell. So that's why we thought that he soiled himself. It was what was in the boxes that we were smelling. Officers confront the man with the discovery. The passenger still made no omissions as to what could be contained inside the pellet, and he's not offering us a lot of information at this stage. With the passenger claiming to have no knowledge of the items found, officers will now carry out testing on the contents of the pallets. And if they find illicit substances, this man's life will take a serious turn for the worse. The final colour will be pink and blue if it's cocaine. Both of the technologies that we've used so far have come up positive for cocaine. Officers know that this type of pellet is usually carried internally by drug smugglers, which may explain the vile smell coming from the chocolate boxes. He's possibly gotten them out of his body sooner than he was intending to. They've definitely been inside of somebody from the smell. We can tell that. And officers now want to know whether all the pellets are accounted for. We've got some concerns that he still may have some inside his body. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take him for a non-medical internal body scan. He's not in a good place. He knows that he's in a lot of trouble. And now he's just going to have to um, find out exactly how much trouble he is in. The test will not only determine if he is hiding more pellets, but could also save his life. If one of those pellets were to burst, it could possibly kill him from a drug overdose. We've sent the gentleman in for a non-medical body scan, which looks for anything that may be inside of his body. It basically takes a photograph of inside, um, or an x-ray inside of the person's abdomen. We've received the results back, and we had a negative result. While clear of having any more pellets inside of him, 
man is now handed over to the Australian Federal Police for further investigation into the large quantity of drugs he has brought into the country. Today was a very successful day for Australian Border Force. Uh, we've impeded the importation of approximately 4.8 kilos of cocaine into, uh, into Sydney Airport.